Hi. Uh, last week I was at SweatTech doing a talk about JavaScript. Uh, there were some uh, technical difficulties and I yeah, had to cut some of the stuff off. So it didn't help that the talk was long as hell. So I thought that I could do a series of recordings so you can get all the cool content that I had prepared for the talk. Um, I don't know how many series I would do, how many takes, uh, but I will try to keep it uh, to like 10 minutes video so you can just watch them whenever you have time. Uh, another thing, uh, I suck at making videos. I'm so bad. <laughs> I kind of think that I'm decent at writing, but taking videos is so hard. <laughs> Uh, so, um, you know, cut me some slack. <laughs> I will get better as I go. Uh, thank you. Enjoy. Welcome to Mastering the Arcane Arts of JavaScript and C. Um, I'm Jamie. I am a web developer in UX Sky. I work as a consultant at a company called Active Solution here in Stockholm. Uh, we do a lot of webby and Azure stuff in the cloud and um, I also blog at www.mitzcolin.com where you can find tons of articles on JavaScript, web development and UX. Uh, I like a lot of different things. My girl from all in coding, sci-fi, fantasy. If you run into me, bring up any of these topics and we're gonna have an awesome conversation for sure. Um, so I work as a web developer but it wasn't always like that. Uh, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, I used to work for a company called Death Star Inc. Uh, we build uh, uh, desktop applications to control heavy weaponry to destroy planets. And uh, but I wasn't very happy. There was a lot of cool stuff happening in something that they call the web, the internet. And uh, I thought uh, to myself, I need to change jobs. So I started working as a web developer instead and uh, I remember one of the biggest roadblocks that I had was JavaScript. I remember the first three months in JavaScript it was like hell. It took me a long time to get comfy in JavaScript. Uh, so this talk is kind of my journey from C Sharp development to JavaScript. From hating and being very frustrated with JavaScript to thinking that JavaScript is freaking awesome, which is what I think today. Yeah, so JavaScript is awesome. Uh, why is that? So there are many reasons. Uh, I'm gonna tell you some of them. Mm. JavaScript is everywhere. You can run it in the browser, which pretty much means in every OS in the universe. You can run it on mobile using either something like Cordova or PhoneGap or uh, App Builder or um, Ionic or all these different frameworks and platforms that are built on top of Cordova, or you can do it native with stuff like React Native or Native Script. Uh, you can run it on the server with Node.js, or you can run it on robots. <laughs> so this is very powerful because it means that if you know JavaScript, you're suddenly able to write code for every single platform in the universe. It is very easy and approachable. Uh, you can open the browser, developer tools, start typing some JavaScript. You don't need previous programming experience. It's very permissive, very forgiving. Um, you forget uh, semicolon, no problem. You try to compare a number on the stream that they look the same, no problem. Um, so it's very easy to get started with, very hard to master though. Uh, it's also very flexible and free. You can do crazy things with JavaScript. You can augment built-in types, you can uh, augment objects with other objects, augment a prototype and suddenly all the objects that inherit from a prototype have new properties. Um, and this kind of flexibility and freedom makes it a very open and evolvable language because extension and polyfilling, adding new features before the browsers come up with those features is built into the language and anybody um, that feels that there's something that's lacking in the language can create support for it. And that's something that, if you think about how JavaScript evolves, it is a very organic and open evolution. Uh, when there's people that there's lacking something, 
for instance, a good way to handle async programming. For a long time, the way to do async programming in JavaScript was callbacks. So we used callbacks for a long time, we experienced a lot of problems with it, and then someone said, why don't we use promises instead? They are much better than callbacks. And then people started using promises. Uh, it became uh, like the go-to async pattern. And finally, it was made a standard and is now part of JavaScript. So that shows how the community itself builds things as they see fit. It becomes something so pervasive that it finally makes it to JavaScript itself, the language. The JavaScript has also a very short feedback loop. If you need to figure out how something works, you just go to the REPL, to the browser, and you type in what you want to test, and you get a result. Uh, you need to test a new API, you just go and test it right away. Um, so this short feedback loop, this lack of ceremony, that you can uh, build stuff without the need for a big uh, upfront design or architecture like we do in C Sharp where you know, we have all this uh, dependency inversion, inversion of control, using a lot of interfaces, a lot of abstraction, a lot of uh, indirection. In JavaScript you can uh, proceed of the, most of those things because of the dynamic nature of the language which in turn makes JavaScript a very fun language to work with. You have the freedom, you have the flexibility, you have the short feedback loop, you have the lack of ceremony, you have all this stuff that I've discussed so far makes it a very fun language to work with. JavaScript is very special in the sense that it is the meeting place of a lot of communities that have been isolated in the past. You have the Ruby community, you have the Python community, you have the Node community, you have the .NET community, you have the Java community, and everyone needs to go to the web and write JavaScript. And every single community comes with their own ideas, their own patterns, their own uh, styles of programming, and they come together in the web. They will bring all this knowledge to JavaScript, and and that's the perfect place when where, where these communities can commune and <laughs> share knowledge in JavaScript. So all of this makes JavaScript awesome. Oh yes, dinosaurs and lasers, awesome. But JavaScript also sucks. Uh, <laughs> for instance, I remember reading this article not long ago, uh, it said that you know in the meantime the latest and greatest JavaScript framework comes around every 16 minutes. It's like, what, 16 minutes? <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> or this one quote here that uh, summarizes a very common view of JavaScript. HTML, CSS, JavaScript is not programming. JavaScript is for copy-paste coders. People like go into Stack Overflow, find some script, copy it into their code, and they're as happy as hell. And this was me. <laughs> so this, uh, like when I was working at this Dead Star Inc. Um, so JavaScript has a lot of bad rep. And then there's a problem that there's some crazy shit going on in JavaScript. And the best way I've seen this shown, portrayed, is by this talk uh, where that Gary Bernard did for Codemash 2012. So I'm gonna just do it. <laughs> I'm gonna play it for you. I'm gonna do it for you uh, live. So you will feel how weird JavaScript is. And the talk goes like this. <laughs> Let's talk about JavaScript. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone know in JavaScript what array plus array is? Well, let me ask you this first. What should array plus array be? Empty array, I would also accept type error. Uh, that is not what array plus array is. Wrong, <laughs> wrong. Array plus array is empty string. <laughs> Obviously, I think that's I think that's obvious to everyone. Uh, now, what what would array plus object be? This should obviously be type error because those are completely disparate types. Uh, does anyone know what this is? Uh, no, close. No, far away. It's object. Right, right, nicely done. Now, of course, because uh, this is plus, so you can flip the operands and the same thing comes out. So, if we do what? 
No, that's just an object. Uh, if you do object plus array, you should get exactly the same thing, which, as you can see, you do. <laughs> and finally, uh, the only one of these that's actually true is, uh, because you know you add arrays, you get empty string, that doesn't make sense. But an object plus an object is actually not a number, technically. <laughs> so this one's actually right. And uh, exactly, right? Like, what is even going on in this lab? I just, I don't even understand what person with a brain in their head would think that any of this is a good idea. Okay, okay, enough making fun of languages that suck. Let's talk about JavaScript. <laughs> if I say array.new16, uh, or just array16, I get an array of 16 things, which it represents as 16 commas, which is obvious. And uh, if I then join those with a string, then I get the string 16 times. This is actually the only line in this entire presentation that's reasonable. Uh, now, if I take that string and then add a one to it, it interprets uh, the one as, or, or casts the one to a string, and then we get wap one a bunch of times, fine. Does anyone know what will happen if I subtract one from the string? <laughs> I'm assuming no one does. Let me, I'll give you a hint. Does, does this help? Does anyone know? Yes. <laughs> Wet man. That's all I got. Thank you, guys. <laughs> and that was uh, got it or not. So we've seen that JavaScript is awesome for many reasons, and we've also seen that uh, JavaScript sucks uh, for some other reasons. So how do we avoid the suckiness of JavaScript and enjoy the awesome parts? Well, in order to do that, what we need to do is to choose the good stuff. And we can do that by becoming a JavaScript master, someone that masters the art of writing awesome JavaScript. So join me in the next episode of the series if you want to find out how to be a better programmer, be better at JavaScript, avoid the most common frustrations when you come to JavaScript on languages like C Sharp or other static type languages. We're going to learn a lot about ECMAScript. We're going to learn a lot about object-oriented programming in JavaScript, functional programming, async programming, modules, tools, how to be more productive, Lots of stuff. So take care and be awesome. What?